Hey Spintronics fans. We're gonna do a little bit more swing flag today. Today I'm gonna show you how to do carousels. So I'm gonna start by taking my flags and doing that single roll over. Depending on which direction you go, you wanna make sure you watch which way you're rolling your flag. Since I'm gonna start with my right hand, I'm gonna roll the poles forward. Now a normal six foot pole carousel, I'm gonna start in like right shoulder and bring it down here for count one. However, since I'm using swing flags and I always like to start in these downward angles, I'm just gonna start in count one here, but this will be my count eight. I'm gonna bring it open for count one. I'm gonna bring it at the up angle for count two. It's gonna go behind me, kind of like a back scratcher for count three, but it's also, I clean these at the angles all the time. And it's gonna be straight up. Four is back to my starting position. So. One, two, three, and four. A little bit of speed change with this kind of gives it some variety from a normal carousel that you might do with a flag or a normal carousel that you might do with the swing flag. That speed change of three and four can also be a nice accent to add some music qualities into your visual book. With the left hand, I'm gonna do the same thing. Open one, up two, down three, and four. Notice my poles have come apart now because I had it wrapped in the direction where I could spin my, with my right hand. Now they're apart because I was spinning with my left. So always make sure you're paying attention to that. Now when I'm doing these with two hands, with two poles and separate hands, I'm generally gonna start in the front or start in this open position because you're still gonna do the same movement here, but you're generally either gonna stop at the top here or you're gonna float it back down. Otherwise, you're gonna crash your poles into each other and that's just not very pretty. Starting from the front, I'm gonna go one, two, three, and, but instead of bringing them across, I can bring them down, four. I can also bring them down to the sides, four, depending on what sort of look you're going for. So, one more time. One, two, three, and four. Always make sure that when you're using two flags and you're about to swing over your head, you don't want the flags to ever hit each other in the air. So you have to decide, and you'll clean this with all the members of your color guard, which flag goes in front and which flag goes behind when you spin them at the same time. This way they don't click together. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had fun filming this one. Don't forget to subscribe, share it with your friends, make sure everybody knows what to do with their swing flags. I'll see you next time.